The drawings that I did basically were done beforehand, but I got to know people and that's how the drawings actually got personalities and names. And this is Lawanda. Lawanda is with Leah's hairstyling. Her mother owns, Leah is, is the um, owner of the business. And I would see them every day coming in, strolling in her daughter, dog by their side. And every day I would say good morning and eventually they started saying good morning back. And then we would talk more and we got to know each other by asking questions. And then she did something just incredibly kind one day. Um, she told me about catching my tents that were used to, to block the sun. And I would keep them up so that people wouldn't mess with it and so that the boxes wouldn't get too hot. And the wind had picked it up and Luanda chased after it and got it. And I thought that was just one of the kindest things. Um, we just, it seemed like as the days went by, I just talked to her more and more and more. This is Reggie and Caroline. Now, I never saw the two of them together, so I wouldn't say they go together. But Reggie I met when I was painting the sidewalk, and then he came back around for this pr project. And he would never wear overalls. He would die if he saw this, <laughs> knowing that I had put overalls on him. But that's the way this farmer was going to be. He, talk, he works around town. He's kind of a fixture of the area. A lot of people seem to know him. Um, he's so jolly and so friendly that he became one of the one of the one of the people that I painted. Caroline didn't get her name till the end, very very end. But she came by. She works over at Champs, and I think she's their accounting person. Every time that she walked by, she took a moment to say hi to me and just be kind. And I I really really appreciated that. Again, a, a very jolly, jovial person, and I felt like her personality fit this, this drawing, or this painting that I was doing, so this became Caroline. <laughs> this is Eddie. Eddie, well, let me start with, I knew that I was going to do a person with a prosthetic leg, and I had done some drawings, but then I was coming very, very early in the morning on, during the summertime, and I would see this guy parked at the far end of the farmer's market, and I noticed he had a prosthetic leg. And I watched him because I had to figure out if this was gonna work. Watching him made me feel like, yeah, this is gonna work. He became like a muse for this. And one day he walked up to me and said that he really liked this. And that's when we, I got his name, we were introduced, but he was, his friends had pointed out that we had done one painting with a prosthetic leg. He is not as young <laughs> as this guy, but that part was not important to me. Um, I just love being able to meet him and have his name so it wasn't just the guy on the other side of the farmer's market, it's Eddie. This is Ashley. Ashley works over at 7-Eleven. Um, before I started working on the boxes, when I was painting the sidewalk for the town, um, she gave me ices, which was really sweet. And it was so hot out here, she gave me water. But Ashley also just became this another sweet, jovial picture of, of innocence and, and, and just the right attitude for the dancing kid. I was glad that I got Ashley's name eventually so that I could have the name for this child as well. She said she hated yellow boots. I said, that's too bad. <laughs> They're staying on. But um, her personality definitely fit this particular piece. This cat has no name. But this cat belongs to the two-year-old daughter of the people that own Itigo Coffee. <laughs> I have to really practice on that. So they let me come in whenever I needed to, and I really appreciated their, their hospitality and, and allowing me to use their bathroom when I needed it out here. And so at the very end, you know, I would see them walk with their daughter throughout the day, and I asked them what animal would their daughter identify so that whenever she's looking out of the window of Itigo Coffee, she would see an animal that would mean something to her, and they said a cat. And it turns out that their son also likes cats. So this, this particular kitten, which is sitting on the warning sign, because I just had to do that, um, 
not a typical farm animal, which is what I would have done for everything else, but this cat belongs to her, so. so. <laughs>